it is it just the feeling of having this structured thing where now you're not in your head anymore and you're outside of yourself that helps your art so much it, it actually is a really good balance but for me to for me to have made that decision I had to tell myself that I can't think about money like yes I have to make rent I have to be practical but the moment that you can kind of just like you said you know like put that money aside and think about what it is that you want to do what it takes to get where you want to It's so hard to artic articulate like what it was, but it just, I really felt like there was a lot of clarity that I was gaining in knowing that I should be pursuing this. And again, I don't know what, you know, I don't know what the end product is, but it's, it's that feedback. It's having this positive environment. You know, you were talking about so many of us getting bogged down in negativity. And unfortunately, you know, so much of that negativity comes from the people that are the closest to you. I think I was like 16 when I really started to become conscious of and asking myself, you know, okay, well, why do we fast and why do we pray and really doing things with intent and knowledge as opposed to just being taught by my parents. And so, and I started painting when I was 16. So kind of for me, literally these two things coincided of just discovering, you know, this new medium that I felt was like an extension of my own hands, like really using paint brushes. Like it's, it has always felt like home for me. When I paint, when I make art, it really, to me, it is a form of ibadah. You know, it's 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 a form of prayer to me. It's Bismillah in the beginning and Bismillah in the end.